In this lesson, we're going to be talking about molarity. Before we can explain what molarity is, we have to go through a couple of definitions. Some of these you may have heard before. Let's talk about a solution. Solution is a mixture of substances that is uniform in composition. So that means the components are not easily distinguished. So think about salt water. You can't really look at salt water and tell the difference between the salt and the water. It just kind of all looks like water. So with salt water, we have two things. We have a solute and a solvent. So the solute is what's being dissolved. So those are the dissolved particles. In the case of salt water, that would be the salt. The solvent is the dissolving medium in a solution. So again, in the case of salt water, that would be the water. All right, here's another word you've probably heard before. Concentration. So concentration is the measure of the amount of solute. Again, that's the solid particles. That's what's being dissolved. The amount of solute in a given quantity of a solution. Now, if your concentration is low, you would say that it's dilute. So a low amount of solute. A high amount of solute would be concentrated. So think about Kool-Aid. If you have a small amount of the Kool-Aid powder in your water, it tastes pretty weak. That would be dilute. If you have a lot of Kool-Aid, you'll have a lot of powder in there, it would be super sweet and hard to drink because it's so concentrated. So what would happen to the concentration of a solution if more solute is added? So again, think about Kool-Aid. If we add more solute to our solution, well, the concentration will increase. Okay, well, what about this? What if more solvent is added? So again, solvent is what's doing the dissolving. So if we're adding more solvent, more water to our Kool-Aid, it's going to be dilute. So our concentration will go down. All right, so now let's talk about molarity. So molarity are units used to describe concentration. You'll see it written as moles over liter or just a capital M. It's very important we use that capital M. So the equation for molarity is capital M equals moles of solvent over liters of solution. And this is important. The volume must be in liters, can't be in milliliters, or your molarity will not be correct. So please, please, please make sure when you're plugging into this equation, you're using liters of solution. All right, so here's an example. What is the molarity of a five liter solution that contains two moles of glucose? So again, our equation is capital M equals moles over liters. So we're gonna plug into our equation. So we have two moles over five liters, two divided by five, is 0 0.4 and our units will be capital M. Now notice I had one sig fig here because there's one sig fig in our two, one sig in our one sig fig in our five, so I would have one significant figure in my answer here. All right, calculate the number of moles in NaCl in 370 milliliters of a 2.5 molar solution. All right. Well, if you notice, we're given milliliters here. So to convert milliliters to liters, so for every 370 milliliters, there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So I would have 0 0.37 liters. 
So now that we have our volume in liters, we can plug into our equation. Again, molarity is equal to moles over liters. Our moles are not given. Wow, look at that. We have to do a little bit of rearranging here. So in this case, we have molarity and we have our volume. So we can do a little bit of algebra here to rearrange our equation. We want to get moles by itself. To get moles by itself, I'm going to multiply both sides by liters. So in rearranging our equation, it'll look like this. Moles equals capital M times volume. So we're finding moles. So capital M molarity. 2.5 molar times 0 0.37 liters. So my answer would be 0 0.925. I want three significant figures. So this would be 0 0.93 moles. All right, let's take a look at one more. So in this last example, it says, how many liters of a 0.75 molar solution can be made from 1.3 moles of FeCl3? Well, we're given no volume here, so we're gonna need to do a little bit of rearranging. So our molarity equation, capital M equals moles over liters, we're solving for our liters. So what we can do here, we can basically just swap these two. So volume will be equal to moles over molarity. So plugging in 1.3 moles over my molarity of 0 0.75, we're going to get 1.7333. Two sig figs, two sig figs. We're going to round our final answer to two sig figs. So this would be 1.7 liters. All right, Matt's how to work with molarity.